inflation numbers may be down, but many products aren't getting any cheaper at US stores. A perfect storm of supply chain issues, shortages, and slower production are contributing to a new wave of price increases. In fact, several household items are set to double in price this fall, according to a new Go Banking rates analysis. And the changes may shock many Americans who haven't seen costs going up this fast in their lifetime. The fact that retailers have sharply reduced inventory may collide with seasonal shifts in consumer demand. That means product stockouts will become more frequent from now on, and some cheap everyday essentials are likely to shoot up in price as well. That's why today we've decided to list which household items are going to be more expensive in the coming months. Before moving on, we ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, here are 15 cheap items that will double in price this fall. 1. Household Cleaning Products Household cleaning products jumped sharply by double digits over the last quarter and will likely surge a tad more in the next. In quarter two, the category saw costs jumping by 10.1% and another 3 to 3.5% uptick is expected. The main culprit this time is rising packaging costs. A Unilever spokesperson said that we are already starting to see the costs of some products used in professional cleaning going up. U.S. households will be next to feel the impact. The key reason for the coming price increases is the cost of resin used to make plastic containers such as bottles and jugs. Resin used to make plastic is in short supply around the world, he said. It's now a case of supply and demand. Short supply and high demand create higher prices. 2. Olives and Pickles Olive production has fallen sharply in recent years due to the impact of extreme weather events. The changing climate is absolutely going to result in the volatility of olive production. Casey Korn, olive researcher and culinary consultant, told Food & Wine. With uncertain temperature patterns and weather events increasing in intensity, our crops aren't facing the same predictable environments that we've built infrastructure and businesses around," he added. From 2021 to 2023, olive prices went up by 27 percent, and the situation doesn't look like it's going to improve any time soon. According to an analysis published by Go Banking Rates, olives may suffer another 9% hike by the holiday season. Meanwhile, pickle prices are set to face a 15.4% increase this fall. In 2020, the average price of a jar of pickles was $6. In the coming months, that figure can jump to $11. That's after an almost 40% increase seen in the past three years. The U.S. imports cucumbers from Mexico, where production was also hit by rising temperatures. When cucumbers aren't coming from Mexico or Canada, then they're grown in Florida and Georgia. The problem is that Florida cucumber farms are prone to hurricane damage, and this can also reduce the number of cucumbers heading to grocery stores and pickle companies. Given that supplies are tight, prices are expected to soar. 3. Sources Similar to the category of olives and pickles, the category of sources is likely to experience a 15.5% surge in prices over the next few months. Some sources, however, may become a lot more expensive due to a shortage of ingredients. That's the case with sriracha sauce. Believe it or not, the average price of a bottle of sriracha today costs a staggering $70 on eBay. Hui Fung Foods, who makes the product, have been dealing with a years-long shortage of the chilies, which is hurting production and causing some shortages. Although some production did resume this past fall season, we continue to have a limited supply that continues to affect our production. At this time, we have no estimations of when supply will increase, 
A High Fog spokesperson said, By the holiday season, prices can head up to $130 due to higher demand. Right now, there's a kit of two sriracha bottles listed on Amazon that actually cost $124. While many people would never spend that kind of money on a bottle of sauce, if prices are this high, it's because there must be some desperate shoppers that can't wait to have their favorite sauce on their hands. The price of pasta sauce and ketchup can also spike as the U.S. grapples with a tomato shortage. We desperately need rain, head of California Tomato Growers Association Mike Montana told Bloomberg. We're getting to a point where we don't have inventory left to keep fulfilling the market demand. 4. Roasted Coffee It's hard for some people to imagine starting their day with anything other than a nice cup of coffee, but that morning pick-me-up has been going up in price this year. Drought in Brazil, followed by frost, has stunted the country's coffee harvest for 2022-2023. Supply chain and labor shortages have also contributed to rising prices. Although not the same as roasted coffee, instant coffee may be a more affordable choice. While roasted coffee prices are expected to go up by 15.8%, the BLS reports instant coffee prices have risen a bit less at 10.8%. Another option is to shop online for better deals rather than purchase at the grocery store. 5. Frozen Bakery Products Frozen pies, tarts, and turnovers are going to cost more during the winter and fall. In July, food price inflation rose faster than inflation overall, driven by year-over-year -year increases in cereal and bakery products, which rose by almost 4%. By year's end, Americans may be paying up to 17% more due to the seasonal shift in demand for these goods. and. Tighter supplies of major ingredients including flour, sugar, butter, and frozen fruits. 6. Household Tools and Hardware Supplies This category has been rising fairly consistently in price throughout 2023 thus far, up by 16% from a year ago levels. Estimates indicate that tools like hammers, screwdrivers, utility knives, flashlights, and more are susceptible to face another 6.2% hike due to a seasonal shift in consumer demand, Go Banking rates reported. 7. Public Transportation Tickets This news may be very upsetting for people that take public transportation on a regular basis, either to commute for work or just in general. Public transportation prices are going up by up to 18% in some major U.S. cities, according to data compiled by The Guardian. Bus and subway ride prices are the next to experience the consequences of energy inflation. Estimates from the EIA suggest that the fall winter period of late 2023 and early 2024 could register the biggest spike in energy prices, and that will affect both rail and road transportation. A few months back, New York City raised the cost of a subway ride by 7%, from $2.75 to $2.95. It's the first time the price of base fares has risen this fast in eight years at some of the country's largest public transportation systems, as state-run corporations navigate decreased ridership and shaky finances. 8. Delivery Services According to the analysis, e-commerce courier service providers like FedEx, USPS, UPS, Aramex, ShipBob, and DHL, and food delivery service providers including Grubhub, Postmates, Uber Eats, and Instacart are expected to readjust their prices upwards to offset higher costs during the final stretch of 2023. Delivery services have been steadily increasing in price as the perfect storm of rising fuel prices, labor shortages, and supply chain issues have been hitting companies' bottom lines. A few weeks ago, freight company Yellow filed for bankruptcy due to severe cash flow problems. Other businesses in the sector are now introducing major changes not to face a similar fate. 
New rates can become up to 18% more expensive in this category as well. 9. Propane, kerosene, and firewood. Consumers are no doubt feeling the sting from the sharp rise in fuels and firewood. Also impacted by rising energy prices, the category of fuels and alternative heating sources is forecasted to face a 22.6% increase in prices this fall and winter. Energy is the most volatile component of inflation measures, which means higher prices may bring inflation back up in the months ahead. 10. Cookware Since late 2020, when the inflation cycle started, prices of kitchen tools have increased by more than 30%, said Kamal Nandi, business head and executive vice president at Godrej Appliances. The costs had peaked in mid-2022, and since then we've observed some easing in the component prices. However, it is difficult to predict what will happen in the next three months because the situation seems more volatile. Issues with the supply chain likely contributed to the jump in non-electric cookware and tableware prices in recent years, but this time around, price increases are linked to dwindling supplies at stores as retailers work to drastically reduce inventory levels in 2023. On the other hand, demand for cookware and other kitchen tools is going to peak during the holiday shopping season, and that imbalance is likely to trigger a 7% to 23% increase in the price of cookware items. 11. Salad Dressing Rising ingredient prices and supply chain issues may explain why salad dressing prices are rising rapidly, up by 8% on a month-to-month -month basis in July and 26.4% on a year-over-year -year basis. This product has never been so expensive, and prices will continue to rise in the next couple of months. At this point, it's probably far easier and more economical to make your own at home. Salad dressings are really expensive, but they can be made for pennies depending on the ingredients, retail analyst Aria Olink says. She estimates that most people could make a vinaigrette dressing for less than 50 cents a bottle. That's not only healthier, but also much more budget-friendly. 12. Utility Services the cost of piped gas is predicted to rise by almost 27% during the colder months. That represents an average increase of $250 in fall and winter utility bills compared to the same time in 2022. Natural gas prices have been on a roller coaster rise since 2020 when several pipelines have been closed for maintenance and were never reopened. Demand also continues to outstrip supply, and this will not only affect prices, but power grid reliability, meaning that power outages are likely to become far more frequent from now on. 13. Newspapers and Magazines Publishers around the globe are preparing for worst-case scenarios amid the soaring cost and scarcity of paper that threatens the future of their print newspapers and magazines. In the UK, newsprint was priced at around 360 pounds or 426 US dollars per ton in the first quarter of 2023. Now, the price has almost doubled to around 710 pounds, which is 841 US dollars, said Rick Stunt, group paper director at DMG Media which prints the Daily Mail and dozens of regional titles. It represents a 40% premium on the historic high of £510, Batani said. In the US, the price has risen by a similar percentage to around $800 a ton, according to Stunt. These are big increases. We don't usually get this over an 18-month period, said Stunt. In the past, really big increases were about 20 to 25 percent. As the world has become more digital, reduced demand for paper in the past three decades have led paper mills across the world to shut down. Then, the pandemic broke out 
and labor shortages and supply chain disruptions follow. Added to an already stressed market, demand for cardboard packages soared amid the e-commerce boom. This year, ballooning energy costs will make an already bad situation worse for paper supply. From an industry perspective, it's a disaster because you've got no choice but to reduce the amount of pages you print, choose to increase your cover price or a combination thereof, and that will reduce demand," said an executive at the New York Times, who said prices will go up between 35% and 40%. 14. Stationary Supplies The cost of stationary supplies is about to go through a seasonal shift as we approach the back-to-school season. The shortage of paper can push the cost of some products, including books, notebooks, writing pads, envelopes, and more, up by 50%, the data showed. Other items, such as pens and markers, are going up more slowly, but reduced plastic production can be a contributing factor to higher prices. And 15. Toys The shortage of plastic is being a catastrophe for toy manufacturers, who should already be shipping their products ahead of the holiday shopping season. Delivery delays are expected, and the category of toys and games is at risk of facing shortages during the busiest shopping season of the year. In other words, many popular products amongst kids will be harder to find and may cost from 17% to a whopping 68% more, according to the analysts. If you're noticing strange price increases at your local stores, feel free to share your experience in the comments section. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and before leaving, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos.